Think safety first. Hi, this is Rick Martins with Martinsman Irrigation. Medical emergencies. Knowing some simple procedures may keep an accident from becoming a tragedy. The learning objectives of this segment are to identify the need for a medical emergency plan, learn some basic first aid practices, identify basic information emergency services need to respond to the accident. What if an accident happens? Are you prepared? Do you have a standard procedure? Do you have any first aid training? A plan for action. First, you need to stop and think. Then you need to secure the site. You can't just go rushing in or you may be the next accident victim. Assess the accident victims. How many are there? Where are they located? What happened with the accident? Call for emergency help. Administer emergency first aid and call for additional assistance. Stop and think. Think about your personal safety. You want to make sure that you are not another victim or that victim pulls you into the same situation that they're in. Who may be involved? How many are there? What's the operating hazards in the area? What's happening? Is there anything running? Where are you? The address, the intersection, the location. First, you have to secure the site. You shout for others in the area to make sure that they can come if there's anybody available. You shut off the equipment. You shut off any electrical power. Are there any airborne hazards that you have to be aware of? Secure any unsafe equipment and create a safe environment for the rescue personnel. Assess the accident victims. How many victims are there? What's their present condition? Are they in immediate danger? Are they conscious? Are they breathing? Do they have a heartbeat? Or are they bleeding? Calling for emergency help, 911 or some other emergency number. You want to let them know who's injured, how many are injured, and the condition of each. You have to let them know what happened and where it was, what address, the intersection, field location from the farm, because that may be different than the address of the farm, or if you have an emergency GPS location. And you need to let the emergency folks know if there's any additional equipment needed for any of the rescue. Administering emergency first aid, ABCs. A, check the airway. If it's blocked, clear it. B, you check for breathing. Administer mouth to mouth as needed. C, check for circulation. Is there a pulse? Is it anybody bleeding? You need to control any life-threatening bleeding, and you need to administer CPR as needed. Calling for additional help for the victims, others on site. You need to call the owners of the operation, any other operators or in the area. You need to call the neighbors. Why do we call the neighbors? Because they're familiar with the site. They can guide the emergency crew to the accident and help control traffic, and they can present provide any additional labor. Get any needed equipment for help on the site. You may have contacts that you can call that could get a heavy front end loader or something else to that site to help out. Call for additional help environmentally. The state duty officer, county feedlot officer, MPCA, others on the site, the owners and the operators. Get the flow stopped if it was an environmental emergency. Get any needed equipment for help on that site. Remember, having an emergency plan and not needing it is better than needing a plan and not having it. Shut off the equipment and secure the area. ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. Who, how, where, and what's the condition.